So I was just thinking about a couple things this morning. I wanted to bring up something that's really on everyone's mind and such a powerful truth, especially in these days with the amount of media that we have, the accessibility to new ideas, which are great. But if you scroll down on YouTube videos, on how-to videos, on people's websites, on all the marketing, the social media, everything you see, there, there's so many opportunities that are highlighted that it's easy to think the success stories that you see on a video or on a post happened overnight. And the truth is that the majority of the people that you see posting about their successes or, or building these videos or building these how-to, how I made this business happen, how I made a million dollars with this in, in a month, how I, how I changed my life, that most of those were a result of a process. Now, of course, there's one-off situations, there's spectacular situations, and those are very real. But what about the majority of those stories, which are a result of a process of hard work and staying in it? So over my career, I've had many opportunities to give up and many opportunities where I wanted to give up. So I'm in construction, I consult construction businesses, I build projects, and there's been many points in my career where it felt like I wasn't sure if I wanted to do what I'm doing. I felt maybe felt boring. It felt like I hit a wall. It felt like, where do I go from here? And those are the points where you're tempted to jump into something new. And the difference between winning and not winning, I believe is really, it really comes down to realizing that the actions that you take, the work that you do in your business, it's not about just the immediate outcome of that work. It's not about just how much money you're making that month or that year or that project that you win or that review that you get or that win that you get. It's really about who you're becoming in the process. And I see winning as understanding that it's about who you're becoming, not just about what you're getting in that moment. And the people I see really winning are the people who have stuck with it. And when you see that success, when you see those milestone successes that we see often published on videos or on posts, you're seeing the result of someone staying in the process, becoming who they need to be, and then making whatever it is they're doing look easy because they've stayed in it. They've built a skill set and they've got the staying power. So the staying power is something that is is rare, is becoming rare these days, and it, and it feels like everybody, it, but just based on watching videos, it feels like everyone can just jump into something new and be successful, but that's really not true. A lot of what you see is the result of that staying power. So I would just encourage you, don't think that with all the hype, with scro scrolling through videos, scrolling through posts, seeing people's milestones, that, that the answer is just to jump into a new business or jump into a new industry. Sometimes that's the answer. But more often than not, you can become better at what you do and you can come up with more creative solutions or just execute better on the solutions that than others around you have done in the past. And really the world's waiting for someone like you to be better in your industry, to be better in your profession, to be better in your skill set, to be creative. But it takes having that staying power. It takes being willing to have some grit and staying in what you're doing because the things I'm doing now, the areas I can speak into and, and help other people and encourage other people are the areas that I was tempted to jump out of maybe five years ago, maybe 10 years ago. The areas that I'm proficient in now, the areas that I can really, really scale someone else's life and someone else's business are the places where I wanted to give up, but I figured out another way. I figured out a way to, to get through it, I figured out a solution. So. Don't steal that future from someone else by jumping out of what you're doing, by trying to take the quote unquote easy path, because that's really not the easy path. It may look easy, it might give you some immediate results, it might give you some small results, but the long game is really in building your network, building your skill set, building your relationships, just building, continuing to build in what you've been committing to up to this point in your profession. And I know that's general that statement but you know for me it's been it's been development it's been business consulting it's been construction it's it's been in that area but I see it over and over again you know whether it's friends or colleagues that are staying in their profession and all of a sudden it just looks like they blow up overnight it's not overnight it's
it's it's a process, it's a result of a process. I also see friends, I also see colleagues jumping from business to business, from different industries or, or a prospect of, of selling with high commissions and they want to jump into it and oh so and so's they're making a, they made a million dollars last year doing this so I'm gonna give it a try like over and over absolutely be aware of those opportunities but the staying power is really the long game and that's what's gonna give you and, and build in you the best skill set the best grit the best strength to stay in in every season and and last season after season year after year so keep going, keep getting it. Don't give up, don't give in to the hype. Be aware of opportunities, be ready to say yes, but be ready to stay. Be ready to be standing firm and, and staying in your area and growing. And even jumping out of, you know, jumping out of an industry, one of the things that, or, or staying in an industry, one of the things that really makes an impact is just keeping those connection points. That longevity, the people see you staying, staying in a spot and staying in an industry and continuing to build yourself, continuing to build your skill set, that builds trust over time. And there's really no replacement for that. When you stay in a spot, when you stay in an industry, when you stay in a profession, when you stay building a skill set and owning your craft, people see that. And jumping in and out versus staying it, it really makes a difference. Not just not just on the surface, not just on your on your uh, LinkedIn profile or or your resume, but but people see you communicating relating, staying in that industry, and that really builds trust, that, that builds authority. Not as, not as attractive sounding these days with, with the instant overnight success stories, but that is the truth. And it's more the truth now than it ever was.